Hey, this is Chris. How are you doing? Noticed a comment from someone, I think it was Valerie, said she wanted to know how to upload a video to YouTube directly from your phone. That's how I do a lot of mine. <clears throat> so I will show you because I found this cool little app called Visor that lets me display my Android phone directly to my laptop so that you can see what I'm doing. I was going to try to record it with my other phone, but I thought that would look really cheesy. So anyway, <clears throat> what you want to do, of course, is record a video. So you open up your camera app, and there you have it, and then you record, and then you finish, then you close that out of there. Then go to my, well, you don't need to go to my pictures, but you can go to uh, photos. I use photos. And so let's just pretend that that's the video I just shot, even though it wasn't, but I was just kind of showing you procedure. So there's my video. So it's stored. Now you have to get the YouTube app, which if you have an Android phone is on your computer. Don't I mean, it's on, not on computer, on your <coughs> excuse me, on your uh, phone. Now if you haven't done so already, you'll have to provide uh, your Google uh, information, your login, to be able to use it. And, and you can use multiple accounts with this one app, so you don't have to worry about uh, having several instances of YouTube. I mean, you get a chance to choose uh, which account you want to upload to once you uh, open the app. So open the app and you'll see that up here this is mine and Lee's account. Now you can go you can see all this other stuff too. I'm trying to remember how to log into the other account. Oh you can there you go switch account. See that right there. So if I wanted to I could switch the account. We have a couple other accounts that we don't put a lot on but occasionally we do. Interesting how this um, uh oh I didn't want to do that. What have I done? Now I've now logged out of our account. Great. Okay. Hold on just a second. Okay, I didn't log out of my account. That was a mistake on my part. Anyway, there's the screen. <clears throat> As you can see, you can go do all that stuff. But what you want to do here is click on the camera, the movie camera icon. And if you look, you'll see that that video that we just looked at in my photos or my pictures or whatever that other Google app is called is right there, ready to be uploaded. And then it's just a simple matter of clicking on it. And then you have an opportunity to enter a title and a description. Uh, the title of this one is comments on the recent Florida pedestrian bridge collapse. Period. And I'm not going to enter description because I think the title is good enough. Uh, the only thing I don't like about, I just don't like the Android um, keyboard. It's too small. It's hard, hard, hard for me to type. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time and energy learning how to touch type on a real keyboard and I have not spent a commensurate amount of time learning how to do Android, but I love Google Voice, as you notice I just used it. So, And so then you get everything the way you want it. The, the only other thing I don't like, and which is why I often go back into the account later, is it doesn't let you add tags. And it really is just kind of, it's just a little bit clunky for me. But anyway, once you've got everything the way you want, of course you can always, you know, get on your laptop or your desktop and go to once you've started uploading, you can go to, Google, uh, to YouTube on your laptop or desktop and edit uh, that entry as you see fit, which is what I usually do. But then, if, but if you're just in a hurry, just quick and dirty, get it up there. Just click on Upload. <clears throat> and what I've noticed lately is you get this error message, and I don't know why. I don't know if I need to update YouTube, the YouTube app. Don't know what's going on with that, but it is working, and I know it's working because I can exit out of the main app, but you see the icon up in the upper left-hand corner. 
the YouTube icon is there. If I drag down on my phone, it clearly shows that I'm uploading one video. So I don't know. That's just some kind of bug that has popped up in the last, I think, like two weeks. It's the first time I noticed it because I thought, oh, great, my phone's broken. But, of course, then I, what I was doing, I was trying to re-upload it again and again. I'd have five instances of an upload going on until I figured out that... Uh, that this screen right here was available. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the only thing that is now this is a great way if you're on the move, you don't have time to sit down at your computer. The bad thing is that this is an uncompressed file. So you can see uh, that was like a I think it was like a five or six minute file. It's it's 189 megabytes. If you don't have a really good connection, it's going to take some time. Like here at the house. This is where I am right now. It's going to take, as you can see, forever. It says two minutes. That's that's really funny, uh, YouTube. It's probably going to take a couple hours. Now, if I'm in an area where I have a good 4G connection, yeah, I can go very fast. So what? If I have the time, I always download the compute uh, the video onto my computer, compress it, and then. But I put it back in the same location on my phone that it came from. And so then it, then it shows up in the same area or in, on the same menu uh, that I showed you previously, the YouTube menu that shows, you know, <clears throat> where the files are, like in Google Photos. And so I hope I'm not making this unnecessarily complicated because it really is easy. Basically, you shoot a video, you, three steps. You shoot a video, you open your YouTube app, you find the video, double click on it, or double tap on it, or just tap on it, and click the upload button. Okay, that's four things. I feel like Monty Python. Well, and then you edit it. That's five things. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I mean, put a description and a title with it. But anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, this is really easy. Provided you're in an area with good uh, 4G, it works, it works very well. Uh, uh, I think the other day we did an extended video. Well, the one we did in the car was a two gigabyte video and it uploaded in just under an hour but we were in an area with very good 4g service but that's you know two gigabytes in an hour that's that's pretty darn good and uh one thing you do have to watch out for if you don't have unlimited service on your 4g on your cell phone this will chew through it in a heartbeat uh, we do have unlimited verizon service which really truly is unlimited and I've never had it slow down significantly. You know, they say after 22 gigabytes, it slow, they slow it down or deprioritize it somehow. Never noticed a bit of difference in performance. So that is something you have to think about. If you're on a plan that only allows eight gigs, and that you know that limit is uploads and downloads. It used to be, you know, back in the old days, they only cared about downloads, but now they care about both. So anyway, that is the ticket. You know, in about another hour and a half or so, this thing will be uploaded, and you'll be able to watch it. I mean, you'll be able to watch the actual video. I'm going to upload this tutorial here in just a moment. But anyway, just wanted to show that to you. Hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do. And we will see you on the next one.